So today I have a first impressions video for you and this is a product that I've had for a long time. I just haven't really dug into them. I don't know why. I got really excited when I purchased them and then I just used other stuff instead. So today I decided I'm going to film a video, I'm going to do a first impressions, and I'm going to use these products. So what I am talking about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminators slash Highlighters. I have three of the four that are currently out. I have Peach Nectar, Starlight, and Riviera. And So Hollywood is like the most popular one, and that's the one that I don't have. Not because I couldn't find it, because I did, but because I have Max O oh Darling, which supposedly is like an exact dupe of that. So I figured, why do I need to have that if I have one that's already really similar in color at least? So I figured when it comes to swatches, I can show you this instead of So Hollywood, but when it comes to formula and all of that, I figured I would use the actual ones. So in this video, I'm going to show you swatches on my hand, and I'm also going to apply on my cheeks. I'm not wearing any highlighter yet today, so I figured I will pick one and apply it to my cheeks. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighter brush. This is the A23 brush. And you're supposedly supposed to use this with these, and it's like a perfect combination. So I'm going to apply it to my cheeks, show you swatches, and just kind of give you my first impressions. Does that sound good? All right. Okay, so I'm going to go from lightest to darkest. The first one and the lightest one is the color Starlight, and it looks like this. This reminds me so much of Becca Moonstone, which is my ultimate favorite, but they are slightly different. So I did put a swatch of them on my Instagram a while back. Um, but this one is a little bit more kind of on the pinky side, whereas Moonstone is a little bit more kind of golden. You know what, let me swatch them for you. Okay, so here's Starlight and here's Moonstone. So you can see Starlight is a little bit more per pearlescent pink, whereas Moonstone is more of like a gold, white gold. Um, so let's swatch them next to each other so you can see see. Okay, so that's Starlight and that's Moonstone. So you can see there's a slight difference, but they're pretty similar. If you're a big fan of Moonstone, then you'll probably love Starlight. Okay, the next lightest yet medium toned one is the color Riviera. So this one, if we compare it to Starlight, is definitely more golden beige kind of like a silver gold beige. This one reminds me a lot of Becca Opal. And unfortunately, I don't have Opal to kind of compare them to to show you, but it has the same like color components. So I'm gonna swatch this one for ya. So you can see this one is definitely darker than Starlight, but I think dependent upon your skin tone and if you sheer it out and what kind of looks you wear it with, it can look really, really pretty on a lot of different skin tones. Okay, the last one that I have is Peach Nectar, and this is the first one that I purchased. I can honestly say I have nothing like this in my highlighter collection. It is a true, like, peachy rose gold, um, which is so unique and so pretty and so, like, fall appropriate. I think that one I need to wear more as a blush overlay just because I am so fair that if I try to highlight with that, it might look a little crazy unless I'm like tan, but I think I'm gonna use that one more as a blush overlay, but needless to say, it's beautiful. Lastly, I'm gonna swatch Oh Darling, um, just so you can see what it looks like, you know, compared to the other three colors. I almost said two colors. Um, so this is definitely more gold. So think of this as your So Hollywood. It's very gold. It looks just like this. They're supposedly exact dupes. So beautiful. Beautiful for all skin tones. Dark, light, pale. It doesn't matter. It's going to look pretty on you. So, so, so pretty. I might go pick up So Hollywood. Maybe when it hits Sephora's, whenever that is, I'll pick it up. But for now, I think I'm good with uh, Oh Darling. Now let's talk about blendability. And I'm zoomed in so I can swatch it on my arm and show you how they blend. 
So here's what it looks like when you just swatch it. Now, when you apply these to your face, you don't swatch them onto your face, you apply them with a brush. So if you diffuse it out, you can see they're still super blendable and you can really, really diffuse them and blend them out. So they are very blendable still, but when I say they're not as blendable as the Becca ones, I just mean they're not as creamy, but they're still very, very blendable and super pigmented. The good thing is they're not chalky, they're not like, puffy poofy powdery they're still they have a I mean it's definitely a powder texture it's not like a cream to powder it's definitely a powder texture but it's like the perfect combination of like a powder and a cream okay so now let's apply this to my face so I think I'm gonna go with starlight um, because this reminds me so much of moonstone and moonstone is my favorite I will tell you I have not applied this particular one to my face yet. I have applied Riviera once and I loved it, but I haven't applied this one yet. So I'm going to apply that with the Anastasia brush because that's, I suppose, what you're supposed to do. So let's see how this works. So you can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, there is some fallout. Um, when I tap into the pan like that, that is something that the Becca highlighters do not do. So there is a little bit of fallout, but it's not chalky. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> that is an intense highlight. It's very pretty though. Okay, so that's what it looks like with just this brush. I'm actually going to blend it out a little bit because that's just a little bit too much for me. So this is the Sigma F40 Large Angle Contour Brush. I'm just going to kind of buff it a little bit. But it is very, very pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, so here is before and here is after. You can see that's a really pretty color. It's very intense. It's very pigmented. You can really see it on camera. Um, I really like it a lot. All right, now let's do this side. Maybe if I didn't put so much on the brush, it wouldn't be so so intense. So that might be something I try next time. But there's with the Anastasia brush. And then I'm going to buff it out with my Sigma brush. Okay, so first impressions on the brush is go in with a light hand because this is pretty dense. It's very soft. But it is pretty dense, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be more like a dusting of the product as opposed to like like I'm used to doing with, with like a, br a blush brush. So that's my impressions of the brush, but I do really like the brush. I just kind of have to get the hang of it. First impressions of the highlighter is holy pigmentation. It's very pretty. It is super, super, look at it. I'm like glowing. It looks really, really pretty. Um, but you do have to be careful to go in with a light hand because they are very, very pigmented. All right, guys. Well, I hope that this video was helpful. I know I was kind of all over the place, so I'm sorry about that. But I hope that this was helpful. So again, here's the swatches. Starlight, Riviera, Peach Nectar and this is oh darling but aka so Hollywood I think all of them would look beautiful on pretty much every skin tone just depending on how you wear them whether it's a blush overlay a highlighter um, you can probably even use them as like eyeshadows they're illuminators they're not supposed to be like cheek highlighters they're illuminators so you can use them however you want but there's the swatches here's what it looks like I have to say I'm very impressed I want to use them a little bit more um, and then I can give you a true opinion on them so you might hear more about them in my favorites videos uh, so stay tuned for that but first impressions is huge thumbs up if these are anything like their eyeshadows then I know that I'm really gonna love them so that is that thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video bye guys